Parents in North Omaha met with community leaders tonight, hoping to give their kids a better school experience. Howard Kennedy Elementary has historically been a low performing school. Part of the 75 North Revitalization Project makes curriculum changes to jumpstart student achievement. The new principal asked parents for ideas tonight. The 75 North project already includes new housing and a community enrichment center near 30th and Lake. Many of the kids from Kennedy Elementary might otherwise never get a chance to have their teeth cleaned, but tonight there was a big dental donation. Kelly Bartnick was at the school and is here to explain. Kelly. Craig, today's free dental clinic isn't listed as a 75 North project initiative, but health and wellness play a big role in healthy communities. The staff know that, so do the dentists who came, who will eventually be in Kennedy and nine other OPS schools. Students come to Howard Elementary to learn the basics. Put up really big for me. Dentists like Megan Boyd come to teach them. You have really big teeth, did you know that? Boyd is a UNMC resident. Her four-year-old preschool patients at Howard Kennedy are only the beginning. Looks Which good. tooth hurts? Is it a loose one? Is it wiggly? Eventually, 6,000 OPS students in 10 elementary schools will partner with dentists, thanks to a grant that puts a pediatric dental residence in the schools. Getting to the dentist is an issue. Language barriers often with parents and communicating with the dentist is another piece. So we're always trying to reduce those barriers for families so they can get the access to the dental care that they need. Jeannie Weiss helped decide which schools need the services most. It's a five-year, multi-million dollar grant program. The dentist will perform common procedures like fillings and sealants right in school. So I am going to use my little mirror here, okay? Do you want to hold this for me while I open everything else up? In an area or a, uh, an environment that's comfortable for them, that they're used to, it means they don't have to miss time from school. And so we think that it'll be embraced by the community and will bring a whole new service. UNMC dentist Jill Wallen says right now more than 30% of Douglas County students have no regular dentist. The program puts the residents in school for two hours once a week. Kids that are healthy are more likely to be engaged and can maximize their learning potential while in the classroom. And they're more likely to smile. This guarantees they'll look good doing it. You're okay. Smile for me. Thank you. Good job, sweetie. Good job indeed. The grant also provides money to put residents who work in rural community clinics across Nebraska. Howard Kennedy is just one OPS school. There's a list of others chosen from the program on your screen. Central Park Elementary, Fontenelle, King, Lothrop, Minnelusa, Mount View, Skinner, Rose Hill. There are also two others that have not yet been named. Now the program should take effect within the next six to 12 months. In the studio tonight, Kelly Bartnick, Action 3 News. You're right, that is a great program. Whoever thought flossing would be fun.